This is one of your heavily requested videos, a side-by-side -side benchmark comparison on latest drivers. So we're looking at NVIDIA's latest drivers, 531.79. And I know there are a lot of people who cover driver updates, but they're basically reading the patch notes. What I actually want to see, and I think what you guys want to see, is also the performance of competitive games on those newest drivers. So in this case, we're going to be looking at Warzone. Apex Legends, Fortnite, Valorant, and PUBG, and see if it's worth to upgrade to the latest drivers from NVIDIA. And if this is something that you'd like to see, please let us know in the comment section. So we'll probably do the same thing for AMD cards. Uh, first thing first, we've got like the 1440p Warzone native in here. And um, one interesting fact in here, as you can see, is our RAM usage and VRAM usage is actually quite good at the latest drivers. And I think you will see this as a more common in the later version. So native performance is more or less the same, but apart from the RAM and the VRAM. Okay, let's go with DLSS. So 1440p with DLSS in here, same trend. Look at that one, boys. 10.6 gigabytes of RAM on the old driver and 10.3 gigabytes of RAM on the latest driver. VRAM, the same thing. There's about like 200 megabytes difference in there. So obviously Nvidia is listening to the VRAM issues and they're probably tweaking these ones in their drivers. Right? So it performs like the more or less the same in here. Slightly better on the uh on the 531.79. You can see that on a 0.1% lows in there. Right? Yep. Pretty good up pretty okay. I think within this and war zone, the latest driver would be a better option. Let's go to the next game, Apex Legions. And as always these are competitive settings boys so yeah, pretty much competitive settings. Look up album performance if you want more details on the settings that we use. Let's start off with the training in here, firing range. 0.1% mm, lows are a bit lower in here, but look at that one, boys. 7.9 gigabytes RAM versus 6.6 .6 RAM on the latest drivers. 3.4 gigabytes VRAM versus 3.289 VRAM. So, Obviously there's a big difference there. I think they're tuning on memory. Let's look at some still shots in here. Same thing, right? This look, RAM users, look at that, right? Still shots, same thing. Look at the difference in terms of RAM usage, boys. Look at that one, right? Not so much with VRAM because this is like really far away. Okay, now let's go uh, Fortnite and this is performance mode in Fortnite. Yeah, pretty much the same. I <laughs> got the RAM usage as less RAM used on the latest drivers, whereas there's more RAM on the previous drivers. In uh, VRAM, the same thing as well. Performance is more, more or less the same, right? It's about the same. It's probably a little bit higher GPU power on the latest driver, a little bit sometimes. Okay, you could see that there. But the VRAM and the RAM components, the RAM variables are actually a uh, big difference. This is the big difference in this uh, driver. And 0.1% uh, lows, beta on the latest driver. Yeah, <laughs> sorry dude. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, we're going to try out DX12 as well. Let's see DX12 in this one. So performance mode, that's pretty good. Right, so what we're looking at in here is not the raw performance. Uh, uh, what we're looking at is if the drivers, latest drivers, actually worth it, okay, for our competitive games. And look, same thing with DX12. Look at that one, boys. RAM usage on our latest drivers much lower. VRAM a little bit lower as well. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the rates are more or less the same. They're more around like margin error like the performances you know, you can see i mean you can't probably feel the difference of a few fps there all right well if you're playing in game and of course this is a synthetic disc please obviously i have to do synthetic disc on driver updates all right there you go and see it about 200 megabytes um difference in ram and about like 100 megabytes 160 uh, VRAM so let's go with Valorant I know like Valorant is a CPU intensive game but in this case we're running 1440p competitive settings and see if there's any difference and once again look at that one boys 
RAM, RAM usage, and VRAM usage. Okay. Right. Uh, yep. Um, the the latest driver may have a little bit higher uh, GPU power consumption, but it's you know it's it's balanced by the RAM optimization, memory optimization, if you put it that way. The performance more or less the same. Really, it's it's really close. You can't feel the difference on this one really. At 0.1%, it's about yeah. All right, let's move on to PUBG. As always, competitive settings on this one, and see if there's any difference. Uh, and once again, look at that one, boys. RAM usage and VRAM usage. Okay, so there uh, there is a, quite a difference. Uh, do not we are using the 3080 in here, and with our 5800X3D rebar has been enabled and all this stuff. All the specs will be in the description. All right. So in this case, in our reviews here, I feel like we will migrate to the latest drivers and it's pretty good what do you guys think do you think that we should carry on with these types of videos let me know in the comment section and i guess that's pretty much it i'm, I'm happy with this one i don't know about you guys but yeah, i'm happy we'll stick with the 531.79 on our next video we'll be looking at the rx6600 on our actual gameplay so yeah if you'd like that stick around and subscribe to the channel all right i'll see you guys in the next video